Well, good morning, everybody. I'm getting up with the sun today. We're first in line at the gate to get unloaded. I'm in Brainerd, Minnesota. Oh, beautiful lake down there. A dam behind there. I thought that was smoke at first. That's actually just mist and fog from the dam that's there. Here's our gift wrap present for them. Took this down here from Ontario. So let's get those tarps off it. Let's get that gift unwrapped. Let's deliver it. And then let's see what's next. There's no plans just as of right now yet, but we're still waking up. got emptied first thing this morning. There was no lineup at all. It was uh, just me there. Even by the time I got unloaded and left, I was out of there by uh, about 7.40, just after 7.30. I was the only one there. So got unloaded nice and quick and we started headed home. So I should be able to get home in time for supper, right? Another friendly reminder to all the drivers who are maybe new, don't park your truck in Fuel Island and go inside and have lunch. Get your truck out of the fuel island. It's so frustrating. The whole thing. All of them. They were all buddy buddies. All blibber blabbering with each other inside. The whole time I was here, there's a long lineup. I pulled forward, got out of everyone's way. There's one, two, three, four, five, five of them inside. Just ever yabbering with each other. Maybe they're not familiar with the customs. Maybe they didn't or couldn't read the sign on the pump that says, please pull forward after fueling. Or maybe they just don't have common sense. Maybe they don't have any courtesy. They blocked the entire fuel, except for one pump that I was in. That was the one. And I got here because I got here before the last guy. And now they're still in there. We're not going to get mad. Wait, we are mad. Too late. Too late. We're not going to act on our anger. We're going to drive away and just make a rant about it on YouTube. And hopefully the public service announcement will reach the right people. 
They probably don't watch my videos. I'm sure they don't. One can only hope they're at least using the washrooms inside the building. At a bare minimum. You know, they're probably, probably the kind of guys that'll, you know, go, they'll eventually go park their trucks in the back and then they'll go behind their back and do the doo-doo behind their trailer in the back. You know, you know that's what's gonna happen. That's what's happening more and more. It's, it's hard not to rant about this every day. So I try not to, but every now and then it just, blows my mind what is happening what is that and it's happening so fast you know what i got out of my truck the other day and i stepped in a pile of poop at the truck stop yeah more and more you've got to be very careful where you step be very stealthy tiptoe around it come on i notice this in canada i don't notice it in the u.s as much but uh, I'm gonna let that guy go first. He's, he'll be slower than me. He tried to do the, no, 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 you, I insist, I insist. No, I insist. I'm angry and I don't wanna drive fast right now. Yeah, here in the US, I don't notice the doo-doo at the truck stop parking lots. I never actually have it in Canada, man. Be careful when you go to a truck stop in Canada. 500 meters. Take the entrance to the left on at 29. Public service announcement. Be careful where you step. It's it's so gross. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why this is becoming a thing. I kind of do know why. Because people aren't being told. I don't know. I don't know. But every guy's got his breaking point. You know, you, you see so much of this bad behavior, undisciplined behavior. And eventually you gotta say something, right? Like, it's so sad to see. In 200 meters, take the entrance to the left on I-29 North US 81 North. Is it that hard just to ask you to use the bathrooms? Like, they're just inside. It's not that far of a walk. I know sometimes there's emergency situations, right? But I guarantee you, there's not that many emergency situations every day. All right, let's get back on the highway. I feel better now. Do you feel better? Continue on this road for 123 kilometers. We're going home. So that's a good thing. I apologize too. I mean, it's just that experience watching like five guys hold up the pumps like that. It, it sort of made me uh, snap inside a little bit, I think. Because, but we're gonna have a good day now. We're gonna have a good, good day. The sun is shining fluffy little clouds in the sky, smiling at us, making different shapes for us to guess what they are, right? Happy, rainbow land, nothing's wrong here. No, it's a good day. You know, you keep telling yourself that when you're having a bad day, eventually it has to turn into a good day, right? You keep saying I'm having a good day over and over and over again until eventually, I mean, eventually you gotta be having a good day. And there you go. So the time is 1.30 p.m. I have about another uh, two and a half hours to get home. Two, two and a half hours. So four, I should be home in time for supper. I can shower and have a supper. A supper, yes, have a supper. That, that's what I said, have, I'll have, a, have a supper, let's have a supper. Let's have supper. English, Josh, English. Very important, I try to speak clearly in my videos too so that subtitles can easily uh, translate properly for those who are deaf and can't hear. I know there's a, a few of you out there watching my videos, and I want to make sure I speak as clearly as possible so you can read what I'm saying. I hope I'm doing a good job. Sometimes it's, uh, I talk a little fast sometimes. These are the highways of North Dakota, the legendary state, the state that every other state is envious of, the state that everyone wants to vacation to. It's a hot spot for tourism. North Dakota.
like another hour and 15 minutes once we're through here. But it looks like there's a little bit of a lineup. Or wait, no, that might be for duty free. Oh yeah, lineup's not that long. Should take no more than 10 minutes. We'll be through here, unless if something goes wrong. Or they want to do some kind of random search on me or something. Oh, this guy's going to duty free as well. I think. Does he know that that's duty free? Yep. One kilometer. Keep to the left on Lord Selkirk Highway. Highway 75. Well, I got an empty trailer behind me, so all I got to do is show them my uh, passport, tell them where I'm from, where I went, how long I've been gone, all the regular questions. They change them up all the time. But I'll talk to you guys on the other side. This road for 15 kilometers. No, Karen. Apparently, we're going to have to go and see the scale again. They've been open a lot lately. You know, you go for months sometimes coming through here regularly months and these guys are never open suddenly just bam 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 open every time i come through here well i got nothing to hide i just would rather go home but we'll go see the good people let them run my plates let them run all the numbers on my truck let them take a good close look at it make sure all the lights are working making sure nothing's broken or make sure I got no flat tires you know you know they got to do this and I don't blame them for being open more often now uh, especially in today's trucking in Canada in 600 meters turn right on 5th Street West I welcome more enforcement you don't hear truckers saying that very often I will welcome more commercial enforcement on our Canadian highways because we need it I don't need it. I'm good. I don't need it, but my fellow Canadian drivers, you know we need it. So we need more eyes keeping up, making sure the guys are keeping up with their trucks, keeping their trucks maintained, not driving illegally, not driving on fake driver's licenses. That's, that's an issue, believe it or not. Stop before entering the scale, then we'll watch that sign up ahead. In 300 meters, keep to the right on King Street and then turn left in 50 meters. Alright, steer axle. Drive axles. Okay, we're gonna pull the trailer over, see if we get the green light. Department of Transportation. 
but yeah, they're good people. Two hundred meters, turn right on Port Selkirk Highway, Highway seventy five. I'm sure there's some bad apples in the bunch that you guys could tell me stories about in the comment section. I'm sure they exist out there. There's bad apples in every basket, but I've always had good experiences, especially with the ones here in Manitoba. They're always pretty chill. Continue on this road for 15 kilometers. Pretty cool. They're doing their job, you know, making sure your tires aren't going to fall off. Making sure, you know, that Mom and Dad can get their kids to hockey practice safely or soccer practice safely without worrying about you, you know, things falling off your truck. We have our next load lined up for Monday morning. So I'm gonna leave here uh, early Monday. I'm thinking probably around, doesn't have to be like first, first thing, but I gotta pick up, you guessed it, another load in Kenor, take it down to Brainerd, but the place I'm delivering this one to is open late. So I can deliver it as long as I get there before 10 p.m. So I'll spend another night at home with the family and uh, I'll leave, because otherwise I would leave Sunday night, right? That I'm there Sunday night and sleep there, so I'm there first thing in the morning. But uh, since I'm going to this place where they unload later, uh, I can get an extra night at home and uh, I'll leave probably like around 9 or 10 and uh, get to Kenora around like noon, get loaded by 2 o'clock or whatever. And we'll probably be down there in Brainerd around like 8 o'clock, 7, 7 or 8 o'clock. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see. But for now, uh, that's a wrap for this week. We didn't really do much this week. We, uh, one load. But, uh, you know, it's nobody's fault, really. Uh, it was a long weekend, so Monday was Labor Day. Tuesday, Old Blue was in the shop. Wednesday, uh, there was nothing for us. Thursday morning, we grabbed this last load, delivered to Brainerd, and now it's Friday. We came back home, so. Slow week, but we're gonna have to try and make up for it in the next three weeks to fill up this month. So it'll be go, go, go. Mm -hmm.